Hey everyone, this is Squall Snake, editor in chief of MyGamer.com. Today I am playing Astro Flame Starfighter on Xbox Series X. At the time of the stream, this game is not yet out on console. Couple of days, few days before it comes out on console. I was playing this yesterday. I got a pre release uh, from being in the press, and I'm going to continue my game. This is another Sometimes You game. Been covering a lot of their games over the years. I'm going to jump right in. I left off at level 6. So what this is is a vertical shooter and it reminds me a lot of a game of a shooter that sometimes you published it was last year, maybe a, maybe about a year ago called IAI and that was also a shooter where level based and you, if you, you can see these green things uh, they look like gems or something just almost like debris i guess that's your currency so when you collect that you can then spend that stuff to upgrade your ship and iai was the same way where you kind of face these big difficulty spikes because you kind of need to grind and level up your your fighter your plane and see i just took a hit there and you could see the symbols on the left hand side of the screen, those are my like super moves, like the B button is the bomb. Like I'll hit, um, you know, A. Oh, I got auto fire on by the way, which is a nice feature. Otherwise you gotta hold the right trigger the whole time. So I'm just not doing that. But each of those buttons are, are A, things that I unlocked and B, have limited use. You can only use so many per level. Sometimes the enemies drop stuff, but this game, like IAI, is kind of grindy. Like, the first two stages you can beat pretty much without any kind of problems. But then right when you hit about level three is when you're going to hit your first difficulty spike where you kind of got to grind for a while or go back and play the first few levels a couple times. Even if I die here in this stage, this is stage six, you get to keep half your gems, so you don't get to keep all of them. So there's a penalty, kind of a steep penalty for dying. So half of your the gold or the gems or the green things you want to collect, whatever you want to call them, material. So you, at least you still get something, even if you you don't you don't make it. So there's a lot of things to unlock too. So after I either beat this level or die, I'll show you the the upgrading screen. So not only are there a lot of things to unlock, there's a ton you can you can upgrade those things a ton of different ways too. The other small thing that I like about this game is one it's fast and fluid very responsive using the analog stick incredibly responsive game even maybe even too responsive to be honest with you it might even be a touch too fast because there's been plenty of times where i've accidentally run into bullets and enemies not with not intending to do so just because the control is so fast and responsive but the other thing that i liked about this game i didn't show it off because I was playing this, uh, streaming this, or uh, before I started streaming this, is that the game, when you first start, starts with the volume level at 50%, which is fantastic, because so many games these days, especially if you stream, if any streamer is going to tell you, 95% of the games that get released today are just way too loud by default values. Like, why you got to make them so loud? So this game's... One, has the option to adjust the volume level. Seems like something so small and simple, but it makes a huge difference if you're trying to play, or and especially if you're trying to stream. But then two, takes those levels and starts the default value at 50%. So somebody out there th thought of that. Here's the boss, and I'm gonna get sm holy shit, I just got absolutely demolished. But I have a resurrection ability. I gotta get out of here. Do I have any? Yeah, I got. I bought one resurrect. Oh, I gotta get that upgrade for that health. There we go. All right, so I can survive a little bit longer. Let's see if I can take this guy apart piece by piece. All right, took out his other wing. That's good. Let's see if I can. Nice and slow. Nice and easy. I use all my missiles and stuff. Hitting the X button using my missiles. Oh, there we go. Beat level six, nice. All right, so I beat level six boss. So each each level has a boss. 
And here is all the gems. I destroyed all the enemies. Looks like I got the three stars. And I get plus 50% for beating this. So here it goes back to the main menu. I'm going to hit the left bumper, go to the hangar. And here's everything that you can upgrade. I've been trying to save for another main weapon upgrade. My drone is pretty good. The plasma gun, that's a bonus thing. Armor, of course. And here's that resurrection power that came in handy in that boss battle right there. And then these right here are the extra buttons, you know, X button, A button, are the things that you can upgrade. I'm going to just save my stuff right now because I think I want to just... I'm almost at me if I beat one more level, play one more level, I can upgrade my main weapon one more time. That's the big thing you got to update, upgrade because you use it just constantly. So let's play level 7. Most of the achievements too, at least so far, pretty easy to get. Like a lot of them are just like kill, you know, a couple, a few thousand enemies, you know, beat some levels. So not every, you know, some achievements are going to take time. Not every achievement is like immediately unlockable. But I feel like you can unlock all these achievements without too much issue. It's, it will it will take you some time, but without too much skill needing to be involved. If you're just kind of patient and you, and you grind, you should be okay if you're an achievement hunter or trophy hunter because this game is on, or will be on, by the time you're probably watching this, on everything. It's supposed to come out on Switch and PS4, PS5. This is the Xbox version. I think it's already been out on PC for a while. And another Sometimes You published game. I've been covering a lot of their games over the last, man, I don't know, five years or something like that. Plenty. Re reviewed many of their games. Fan of their products. Oh, just got smoked big time. I mean, one hit from that thing just absolutely killed the heck out of me. So this is where I got to upgrade my... Let's see, these, these missiles, they hunt you down. They don't stop. really gotta take your time there is no co-op feature this is single player only these, these ships take a lot of a lot of hits that's why you got to upgrade your gun you know I got the this drone I'm gonna hit a and use my drone that's gonna help a little bit some health you know whenever I start a new level basically every level after level three I have not been able to beat it on my first try because you just get a big difficulty spike and you really don't have a gun your main gun powerful enough to take out the enemies as fast as you need there's a bomb health upgrade yeah I like this game it's, it's just a simple shooter just with a nice upgrading system but I just wish maybe the upgrades would cost a little less so you can get more upgrades faster because grinding can be it could be a bit much especially like I said right at that level three even level four spot oh. Yeah, these missiles, they just hunt you down. They do not stop. I think the key is really trying to anticipate where the enemy ships are going to be. Because you kind of got to start shooting them as soon as they even appear off screen. Because you got to kind of make every shot count to take them out quickly. Because these guys take so many hits. Is it a boss? It looks like I made it to the boss. Using all my... My weapons. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 
whack, whack, whack. There we go. Oh, no! I killed him in... No! No, 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 no. Oh, I killed him, but his last bullet... Oh, man, does that suck. Damn it. All right, I'm going to upgrade my gun. Oh, that sucks so bad. Holy cow, dude. All right, we're going to have to play that again. Play one more time. Damn, I thought I was going to be able to beat this level first time. And now I have yellow bullets. Holy cow, dude. Just got smoke. Can I stop? No. No restart option. I mean, I got hit once. That was one hit, one missile. my one resurrection on that first missile. Some of the bullets are hard to see. They're hard to kind of distinguish from the background sometimes. They could be really light. Bullets, they come from behind and nail you. Okay, let's try that one more time and not get killed right in the beginning by these crazy wisp bullets that are hard to see. Yeah, see? Come on. Yep, there you go. One one hit. Dead.
damage there. Let's see if I can uh, see if I can do this. Good, there's some health. We gotta get that. Okay. Here we go. I lost my drone, but I have a lot of missiles. Close, almost got killed again at the last, the last ditch effort. Okay, don't didn't kill all the enemies. Got 91% and only two stars, so it's really tough to kind of get that three star rating because you have to kill every enemy in the stage. So let's see if I can upgrade anything. I have $1,200, and I can upgrade my armor or my drone. Maybe I upgrade my armor. Now I got 500 bucks, not enough to get anything, but... So there you go, a nice simple shooter. I like this game, it's a little grindy, but kind of mindless. But I like the upgrading feature, even though there's a ton of things to upgrade and it takes forever. You get a nice sense of progression. I'm on level 8 of 15, so basically like how about halfway done with the game. This is Astro Flame Starfighter. You can check me out at mygamer.com, squallsnake.com, and on Twitter at Zach Gaz, Z-A-C-K. G-A-Z, and until next time, thank you for watching, and game on.